Hi all, welcome to my channel Data Wisdom. Today we are going to see the use of Rollup component into Ab Initio. What is the purpose of Rollup? So Rollup evaluates a group of input record based on some key and it generates the summarized record from each group or if you want to fetch out certain information from that group you can use Rollup component. Now Rollup component is present into transform folder into our component library and from there we can drag it into our graph and we can use it. Now what are the prerequisites of rollup component? Since this component works on a group based on some key, we'll have to provide it a sorted data. Now we have that option available into rollup just like our join component or any other component that uses the key, right? Either we can provide the component a sorted input or we can perform in memory operation right the second prerequisite for rollup would be since we are performing these operations based on a group we'll have to remove our dirty data before providing it to rollup component dirty data as in if we are having any null or invalid values provided into our input file okay because what happens is when it the rollup component processes the data and it has the presence of null values or invalid values right it would be very difficult to trace the error or the issue that we are getting into our rollup component so if we have set rollup component on never about will it will be very hard to find out what the issue is right because your graph will not fail you will not know why the grouping operation is not happening properly or why you are not getting the correct result okay now let's quickly go to our gd let's see how do we use rollup component what are the parameters available into rollup component what is the runtime behavior and what are the transformation functions that are available into rollup and how do we use it okay so let's go to our gd first and let's see how do we use rollup component so rollup component as i told you it is available into transform folder into component library we'll just have to click on it and drag it to our graph okay so basic ports available into rollup are input port which will be connected to our input flow output port which will be connected to our output file or any other component which are we are using after rollup component we are having reject port, error port. So if we have any error record into our rollup, we'll get it from the rejected port and the error message we'll get from error port. Now let's see what are the parameters available into rollup. So since rollup performs operation based on a key after creating groups, so we have a key parameter for that sorted input based on that key whether you want to per provide a sorted data to rollup component or not so if input must be sorted or grouped is checked then we'll have to provide sorted input to rollup component if we are doing in memory operation then in that case even if we are not providing our input in a sorted way based on a key that will work okay now we have this key parameter where we'll be providing the key that we want to use into rollup component this transform parameter is used to write the mapping or the aggregation functions that you want to perform into your rollup component max score is the maximum memory used by rollup component into bytes okay reject result again it is same as the other components about on first reject never about and use limit or ramp function okay once let's again see so we have one more parameter available over here into rollup component that is key method so we are having two options available over here either use key specifier or use key change function okay so if we are using key specifier then into this key parameter we can directly provide the key from our input flow whatever is present into our input dml but if we are using key change function in that case we will not get this key parameter and we'll have to write the logic when the rollup should change the group 
based on our key change function so we'll have to write an additional function that is called key change function into our transform parameter so for now we'll first see how do we use key specifier and perform some aggregation operation on rollup component so let's go to our input directory so we have this source file here we have this rollup.txt file in which i am having certain records with three columns okay so let's create a dml and we'll find out what is the maximum value for this particular department okay so consider we have department id employee name and salary we'll find what is the maximum salary per department what is the average salary per department what is the minimum salary per department and what is the cut sum of the salaries into each department okay so let's quickly go to our gd and create a graph browse the file that we want to use to create a dml for this so first i have department id then i have And then I have salary. Similarly, we'll configure our output file first. So I want to write a file into my target file directory. And this. into port we'll get the same information but here we'll perform different aggregate function okay so here probably we'll get max salary Here we want minimum salary. Here we want probably the sum of the salaries. And it would be average salary. Okay. So what we want, we have an input file in which we have information like department ID, name and salary. Now from each department we will find what is the maximum salary, what is the minimum salary, what is the sum of all the salaries and what is the average salary. Okay, So as I told you we will first sort our data based on the key that we are going to use into rollup component. So for us the key is department id since we want to aggregate our records for each department. Okay, So we are sorting our data based on department id and order will be ascending. Now into rollup component, we'll use key specifier method since we have a defined key which is department ID. Okay. Now into transform function, we'll write our logic. So we'll view it in grid mode and we'll try to write. Okay. So department ID, I directly want it to, to map it on one to one. Name is also one to one mapping. Now from this salary column from input flow I have to derive these four columns okay and we can use aggregate functions into rollup component okay so let's go and check what are the math functions available and what are the aggregation function so what columns we want we want maximum value we want minimum value we want sum and average so I have defined these 
function already into ab initio so these functions are already available over here we'll directly use those functions okay so for finding maximum salary we'll get this function we'll get this column into this function validate it says okay okay we will map it to maximum salary similarly we have min function so into min function again we'll pass our input column salary which will give us minimum salary sum function will sum up all the values for each department and then we'll map it to our output column similarly we have average function available into our roll up component so our mapping is complete let's validate it it says okay fine okay and we'll try to run our graph now so we'll view our input data meanwhile the graph is running into background so we have this input data we have our output file generated after the aggregation okay so now let's see for department id 10 what is the maximum salary maximum salary is 300 so we are getting it into maximum salary column the minimum salary is 100 we are getting into minimum salary sum of salary is 600 and average is 200 right so what we are doing into roll up we are performing some aggregation operations based on a group of record and how are we creating group we are creating group based on some key okay so we have facility of providing key parameter into roll up where we tell roll up that based on this key create the group and perform some aggregation operation okay and we are summarizing that particular group's data by fetching the required information into roll up component okay so this was one example where we were using our key specifier method and telling rollup that this is the key based on this key group the records and get me some summarized output okay now the second method that we have seen is key change function right so we'll see in our next video how do we use key change function and how do we write transform for that particular rollup transformation Thank you for watching the video kindly do subscribe our channel data wisdom for more videos like this and kindly like the video thank you